In closing out the weekend, September 13, 2013, I want to give you some good news. Often I get people writing to me, asking me that I would be able to lift them up in prayer for one need or another. In this case, the need that I went and I made a video about was a, a friend of mine who has been helping me in the ministry, and his name is Doug Peters. And his wife is such a blessing. Her name is Tina Peters. So on August the 15th of 2013, I found out earlier that Doug had lung cancer. And this really grieved my heart. And I made this video that you see here. And I put some information up. This was my older site, BibleProphecyMan.com, which is still available, by the way. But I like my new site better. But in that video, I ask that you would join with me in prayer for Doug because the, the cancer was at a stage four cancer in the lung, which is not good. And so I wanted to tell you that people responded and people have been praying. As a matter of fact, not long ago, I put up another uh, request that if anybody was touched by the Lord to touch this family, because he wasn't working and he needed to have his insurance covered. And that was a tune of over $800, almost $900 for the month. And so I put that need out there. And God touched people and funds were sent to Doug and Tina Peters so, Peter, so that they could have health insurance that would enable them to keep, continue on with the chemotherapy and the radiation or whatever treatment that he needed to have. And so we had asked you to please do what you could, listen to the Lord, and that's all I said. Well, we got a great response. We got enough money together where he, was, he had his insurance paid for for that month. And it was a blessing to know that people are responding to the need. I never asked anybody to send me money. I wanted to go to Doug. And I never ask anything of myself in this ministry because I make sure that everything that I give is for free. But in this case, with Doug, who's been helping me with my computer problems, he's an expert in the computer field. And without him, in many cases, my ministry would just shut down. And so I really needed him to be, get healthy. So here's the, the information. And I want to give you an update now on his condition because a lot of people were wondering what had happened to Doug. It's been a while since I gave an update. Now this is a picture of Doug and Tina Peters that I just got in the email today. And I found out that Doug has been going through the procedures to rid his body of this cancer. And they just got the results back, and the cancer is shrinking. The cancer had spread in many parts, outside the lung, in many parts of his body. But he is now finding with these treatments that it is shrinking, and that to us is a blessing. God is answering these prayers. And we ask now that you continue to pray that the rest of the cancer will be killed off. No more cancer. These people are dear to my heart. They're dear to the ministry. And I need them. I need their friendship. I need their Christian uh, faith as they trust in God for the healing. And so as we join together collectively going to the Lord, would you please again, Join with me in prayer as we lift Doug and Tina up in asking that the Lord would finish off what we've been asking as his children to kill the cancer. Thank you all. I'll keep you updated. God bless.